But when we arrived, we went through like the main, the main entrance, and then it's just got like the All England Club up there. So that was pretty cool. Got the accreditation, went up to the cafe. It's a pretty nice venue. It's almost unreal. Like it's not real. Twelve months ago, I'm, you know, I didn't imagine anything like this. Normal practice, and then wouldn't even say I was stretched out to a forehand. Just normal forehand, maybe moved a little bit, and then just both knees cracked. I've woken up the next morning, and then even just straightening my legs was incredible pain. You know, that was probably the toughest time I've had as a tennis player. I didn't really know what to do, didn't have that much money either. I had just had to sort of pick myself up. I was like, right, what can I do? I need to make some money, so let's, you know, let's do some coaching. I still, still got that question mark of, can I actually make it? Even if I am 100%, can I still do it? It went from you know, four or five tournaments to all of a sudden I'm playing main draw Aussie Open and then had to sort of reassess because I thought I was just going to play Futures for a while and then started playing Challenges, started doing all right and then you know, this week it's just like, wow. I'm super excited. played him maybe like three or four years ago so we're a little bit familiar with each other. It should be good. I'm pretty excited. Like, It's not every day you play five sets at Wimbledon, you know. First time I started was, was on a basketball court, I'm pretty sure, I had a little set up net and then we were just hitting over that with my brother. And then I remember like, I did something well with my forearm, maybe got my elbow up, something like that. And then ever since then just kept playing. My first memory of Wimbledon, I can probably could have been rafter. Maybe rafter, so lying on the grass was my first one. But then obviously Leighton as well, so we've had um, good history on the grass here. I had a pretty good junior career, but since then it's been up and down, you know, like I've had, I've had some injuries, I've had, you know, times when I thought maybe the sort was a bit too much for me. So it hasn't been smooth sailing. It was something funny, it was like, I've gone from not even that highly ranked, I think. And then I went on this crazy winning streak in juniors. It was just like, I probably won like, like six tournaments in a row or something and the Junior Davis Cup. So it was like, a joke of a run. For a while though, it kind of sucked though, because when, when someone would go, what's well, like your best result ever? I'd go, oh, probably when I was like 16 in June. <laughs> but now I can say this, so. Started when I was 14, but I was like, okay, I need to go, I need to go see the physio. And then he's gone, look, you've, um, you've torn both meniscuses in your knees. So then for the next like two, three days, I'm like waddling around the tennis court with like, can barely bend them at all. And uh, yeah, so that, that's, how I, that's how it all started. And then three surgeries in three months. And then, man, I'm not even halfway through the story yet. I feel like I've been going for ages. And then, and then a couple years later, I had to get another one, meniscus again. And then uh, I was all right for a little while. Just um, played a lot on clay. Then I started having problems with the cartilage. And then I think my last one was uh, a micro fracture. That was the toughest one for me because I was out 14 months. 14 months and it's not like, you know, I was a top 50 player before that, you know. Well, I was just doing a lot of just coaching sort of stuff, like playing tennis for so long, it's kind of the only thing I really know how to do. So obviously you make money in tennis and you can make a lot of money, but I don't know, it was different when I had to really, you know, wake up at 4.30 in the morning, go drive an hour to hit with a couple of girls for, you know, an hour and a half, and then I make 45 bucks out of it, you know? So then it's just, it's funny. Like, I remember I came home with maybe 75 bucks in cash or something, something like that. I'm like, Mum, check out the money I made, Mum, 75 bucks. And she's like, what are you talking about? It was a different feeling making money like that. With the coaching, it was just, you know, I'm, trying to grind maybe $100 that day, maybe $50 the next day, but I'm trying to find other hits. So it gave me a good perspective on, on sort of life because I went from, you know, not having any really money at all to trying to grind to you know, pay for my food, trying to grind. I, was, I just recently moved out at the time as well, so I was paying, trying to pay rent. I didn't want to see the money in my bank. I wanted to see it. So I had this like little money box and every time I got money from my coaching, it'd go straight in the money box. And then I'd be like looking at it every day. Yeah, it's just funny 
It's literally 12 months ago. Literally, this is 12 months ago. I'm like this, so it's cool. It's cool. I'm obviously going to try as hard as I can, and then the support's just going to make me try even harder. Obviously, I play juniors here, but you know it's almost a different animal playing men's here, playing against a good player. Um, just hopefully, I can get stuck in and then you know turn it into a match because you know I don't want to. Don't want to get out there and then sort of maybe nerves take over. So which is good probably with the support. The support probably calmed me down at the tough big moments. I think I'll I'll have confidence that I was able to get through it in qualies. It's really nice, but I've got to remember I've got to play five set matches. <laughs>